Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to convert speech to text using Python. This is known as speech recognition, and this usually involves building algorithms to match spoken words to the most suitable text representation. However, in this video I'll show you how to easily do this with Assembly AI API. This API will also help us do things like sentiment analysis, summarization, topic detection, and more. So let's get started. Okay, in this tutorial, I will transcribe the intro of one of my YouTube videos. The original file has a song in the background, but for this example, I got rid of it, leaving only spoken words in the audio file. I will leave the link to download this audio file in the description of this video. Now before we start with the tutorial, we need to get the API key so we can start working with this API. So to do that, we need to create a free assembly AI account. So we go to assemblyai.com. I'm going to leave this link in the description and then we have to click on start now for free. So you click here and then you have to create your own account. So in my case, I already created my account. So here, once you have your account, you have to go to the home tab and then you have to go to the box that says integrate the API. Here you will find your API key. So you only have to copy this, you click and then you're good to go. So now I have my API key and now we can start with this tutorial. So let's start by creating a new variable for this API key. So I'm going to write API underscore key, then we write equal to and here I paste this API key. So this is my API key, you have to get your own API key following the previous steps. Okay, now to work with this API, we have to import a request library. So we only write import requests. And then we can start. So first, I'm going to create a variable that contains the path of my audio file. So I'm going to name this variable file name. And here goes the path of the audio file. So in my case, this is the path where I left the audio file. You have to download the audio file in the description and then leave it in any folder. And you have to copy the path and paste it right here. Okay. After this, we have to create an endpoint. So this is going to be the upload endpoint. And this is basically where we're going to upload this audio file so the API can read it later. So the endpoint we're going to use is this one. You can copy this link and make sure that this is the upload section. So we're going to use different endpoints. And with that, we have our three inputs ready. So now we can start uh, with the tutorial. So first, we're going to create a function that reads this uh, file name, which is basically the audio file. So to read this file, we're going to create a function called read underscore file. And here inside we write file name, which is our first argument. And the second is going to be uh, the chunk size. So I'm going to set this chunk size to a number I found in the documentation. So this is the number. By the way, I encourage you to check that documentation for more information about this API. And then we uh, write this colon. And here we write the, the function that help us read this in Python. So we write with open. And here we write the name of the file. So file name and then we use the RB mode. So comma quotes RB and then as F. So F represents all of this. And we're going to write F dot read and here parentheses chunk size. I will set this equal to a variable I'm going to name data. And here I'm going to add a while loop. So I write while this is true and here colon and here I'm going to put inside this while loop. So while this is true, read this and create this data variable. And now if not data, so if the data is doesn't exist, we have to break. And in the end, we yield data. So basically, this is 
our function and this is going to help us read our audio file. So now that this function is ready, we're going to set uh, some headers so we can send a request and get a response. So first we write headers equal to and here I open a dictionary. So in this dictionary, I'm going to add these two uh, keys and values. So the first one is going to be authorization, which you can see here. And then I'm going to set this equal to uh, API underscore key. So these are my first pair of value and key. And then the second one is content type. So I'm going to copy and paste this one because it's a bit long. So here I copy and paste content type. So this uh, is the key and the value is going to be application slash JSON. So these are my two uh, items of this uh, dictionary headers. And now let's send a post request. So to send a post request, we have to use the requests. This is uh, from the request that we imported before here in the first line. And here we write requests that post. So there are two types of requests, post request and get request. And in this case, we're going to use the post request. So here inside, we have to add three arguments. And the first one is the upload endpoint. So this one that we created before. So this is our first argument. The second one is going to be headers. So I'm going to write the headers parameter and set equal to the headers uh, variable we created here. And the last one is going to be the data parameter. And this one is equal to here. I'm going to call the read underscore file function and I'm going to add file name as an argument of this read underscore file function. So basically here we're reading the audio file that is in this path. So with this, this uh, post request is ready. So after we send this post request, we're going to get a response and I'm going to set this equal to a variable. I'm going to name response. So I write response equal to and all of these. So we send a request, we get a response and this response will have some kind of JSON format that we can use to get specific data that we want. So here I'm going to copy response and here I'm going to write that JSON. So this JSON response will have different items and the one I want here is the upload underscore URL. So I want this item and once I have this item, I'm going to name it audio underscore URL. So I'm going to use this audio underscore URL in the next step to get that transcript ID so we can identify our file later. So with this step one is done. Step one basically was to upload this uh, audio file to assembly AI website. So this is done. And now let's continue with step two. So here we're going to get the ID of this uh, transcript that we got after uploading the audio file. So here we're going to use a new endpoint. So here first I'm going to write step two. So we know that step one is done. And now let's get the transcript ID. So here in a step two, first we're going to define a transcript endpoint. So I write transcript underscore endpoint. And this is going to be a bit different from the previous endpoint. This was the upload endpoint. And here we're going to define the transcript endpoint. So here I'm just going to copy and paste this endpoint. And basically this is similar to the previous one. But in this case, we have to go to the transcript section. So then we have to send a request again, a post request. And here we use the request library. So we write request that post. And here we add a couple of arguments. The first one is going to be the transcript endpoint, which we defined right here. 
The second one is going to be the headers. The headers is the same we use here, headers, and is this one we created before, the dictionary. So headers equal to headers. And the last one is going to be uh, JSON. So this is a JSON parameter. And here we open a dictionary and we write audio underscore URL and here colon and the value is going to be audio underscore URL. So this is the only element and this is our JSON parameter. So everything is ready now. After we send this post request, again, we get a response. And here I write response equal to this. So here again, I have to add the tabs so it looks uh, much better. And I think this is done. Now let's use this response to get a transcript ID. So we write response.json. And here we get to the ID. So we open square brackets and here we write ID. So we're getting to the ID item. And here we set this equal to transcript underscore ID. So this is what we want to get in step two. We want to get a transcript ID. And with this is done the, the second step. So here I'm going to print this ID so you can see how it looks again. So just copy and paste. Then I run and let's see the ID. So after we get the ID, we're going to start with step three and let's give it a second. And here we have the ID. So this represents where is our transcript inside the API server. So here we're going to uh, just hide this and okay, we have the transcript ID and now we can start with step number three. This is the last step. And in this step, we're going to check out the status of our request and also get the transcript. So here we're going to start by creating a new endpoint. In this case, it's going to be a polling endpoint. And this is made of two elements, the transcript endpoint and the transcript ID. So the transcript endpoint is this one and the ID is this one. And to join them, we're going to use the OS library. So here I'm going to import the OS library. I'm going to write import OS. And with this, we can use path. So we write OS that path that join. And here I'm going to write transcript underscore endpoint as our first element and the second transcript underscore ID. So with this, we have the unique path where our transcript is located. So now that we have that endpoint, we're going to send uh, many requests in order to know if the status of our previous request was completed. So here we create a status variable and we set it this equal to an empty string. And now we send the request. So here I'm going to open a while loop and say status uh, different from completed. So the completed is when the request is done. And here we're saying when the status is not completed, then do this. And what we're going to do here is to send a get request. So previously we sent post request, but now we're going to send a get request. So we write requests and here that get. And this is similar to the previous request we sent. So first we introduce the endpoint. So it's polling underscore endpoint. And then we have to introduce also the headers. So here I'm gonna press enter here enter two and here headers equal to headers. So the headers are the same. And with this, our get request is done. So I'm going to set this equal to response that result. This is just a variable I'm creating right now. You can name it as you want. So now that we have this, we can get the status of our request. And we only have to use this response. And again, use the JSON. So JSON with parentheses. And here we have to select the status item. So 
we open quotes and write status. So this is the status of our previous request. And I'm going to create a variable named status. So this is the status. And here we're going to print the status. So I write print. I open here an F string and here I write status and uh, colon and then status. So basically this is going to show the status of our request. And after this, we're going to use a uh, if condition. So if the status is equal to error, we're going to exit this. And we do this by using the sys module. So this sys will help us exit this. So we write sys that exit. And here we write a message. So I'm going to write something like audio file fail to process. So now I'm going to add an elif in here. I'm going to say if the status is different from completed. So if it's not completed, we're going to add a wait of five seconds. And to do this in Python, we can use the time library. So we only have to import time and here we can use sleep. So we only write time that sleep and inside we have to indicate how many seconds we want this to stop. So for how many seconds we want this to stop. So here I'm going to add five seconds, but you can add 10 or more if you want. So here this is done and outside this while loop, once we got a status different from completed, we're going to save our file. So we say if status is equal to completed, we have to use the response underscore result and write that JSON. And after this, we're going to get the text item. So we write text and with this, we get the transcript. So basically this is our transcript and I write here transcript and this text is going to be the transcript we got from the audio file we added before and we can print this transcript so you can read it here and also we can save all of this in a txt file so i'm going to open a txt file so with open and here i'm going to name it transcript.txt here i'm going to use the uh, write mode so i i write w here and as f so here f dot write and here the transcript of course so with this we create a transcript txt file and we write the transcript inside this file and with this everything's done so we can run this script and see the results so now i uh, run this script and now let's see the results so as you can see here we're sending uh request to see the status of the previous request and here it's processing and let's wait until we get completed so we got completed and here is the transcript so if you listen to the audio file you'll see that this is what i'm saying there and here i can open it uh right here and it's here transcript.txt and basically this is the uh, what I say in the video. So you can either watch my YouTube video or you can uh, just listen to the audio file so you can verify how accurate this API is. And that's it. In this video, we learn how to convert speech to text using Assembly AI API. Now you can transcribe any audio file or YouTube video following the steps I used in this video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.